What's going on guys? Welcome back all right, to our online classes. Hope you guys are having a good day or week or whenever you're watching this video. So real quick out the gate, today's focus, we're going to be focusing a lot on our balance. Okay, really trying to make sure that we have awesome balance for our kicks to make our forms better, make our sparring combos better, all right, and just so we can improve. We're also going to work a little bit on some sparring and a little bit on uh, some self-defense as well. So, face me, lock it in strong, Kenne Bell Academy Tenants begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect. Sir, Kenne Bell. All right, Chumbi, let's go ahead and get 10 jumping jacks. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet as wide as your shoulders, neck rotations. And other way. Nice. Arm circles forward. Again, trying to get everything nice and loose. Arm circles backwards. Across the body. And up and down. All right, from there, reaching over the body side to side, reaching over, and then the other side. And twist side to side. Good, leg straight, reaching down low, side to side. Good, trying to make sure you keep those legs straight. Again, get them as wide as you can, while still being somewhat able to not just fall in the splits. <laughs> side to side. Or just hang out in the middle. That's also a good stretch in and of itself. But for that one, you might want to bring your legs a little wide. Good. And then hands on the floor, hip side to side. Hope you guys can still see me. There you are. Good. On this again, if you want an extra challenge, again, go ahead and switch. All right, without using your hands. So I'm here, coming over, no hands. And from there, going to hop on up. Ooh. All right, so what we're gonna work on for our Warm-up drills, we're actually going to get a little bit more of some stretching. So, we're going to do what's called active stretching or dynamic stretching. So, a lot of the stretches that we do all right, are static, all right, which means I'm just holding uh, a position or I'm you know, reaching for a position. But for active stretches, I'm just actively moving my body in order to stretch it out a little bit. So, you can find a wall, uh, something to hold on to here. All right, and what we're going to do is we're just kind of lifting our leg up just like so. Now, you guys can't see it, all right, but my foot is already pre-pivoted, all right? So that means my toes are pointed towards whatever I'm holding onto and away from where I'm lifting my leg, okay? Just so I don't have to worry about twisting and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's already pre-pivoted just like it would if I were to do a round kick or something along those lines, okay? We're gonna get Five, we're just gonna lift it up. All right, each time trying to get a little bit higher. Five on one side, then we're gonna switch and do it on the other side. All right, well, let's do it. Here. One, two, three. That one hurt. Four, five. Good, and switching sides. Two, three, four. All right, last one. Five. Good. All right. So for 
throw them here. All right, go ahead and take your legs. Just kind of make some uh, circles here with your knees. You can also do it with crescent kicks. Either one just to help stretch out those legs a little bit more. Good. All right, so from there, we're gonna have a seat on your feet, seated ankle stretch. Let me angle my camera down. Good. Like so. Good. so as I said before, focusing in on um, you know, a lot of balance today. We're also gonna be going over a little bit uh, of some form style stuff. We're not gonna be going through the whole form today, but we're gonna be going over bits and pieces to help make it a little bit stronger. Are a little bit more awesome. And we're going to toes back, see a toe stretch. Good. And then the cobra stretch. There we go. And push me back up, cat back. And down for the back bow, everything off the ground besides a nod of your belt, like so. And from there, go to roll around, five bent leg, and five straight leg back rollers. Try not to bag here. Go, one, two, three, four, then five, legs straight now. down low towards your toes you're holding on again as always again trying to make sure back is as straight as you can get it all right using your chest to lean forward not just your head all right holding this one for a couple more seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10. All right, one leg is straight, one leg bent back behind you, stretch down that straight leg. Good. So hopefully you guys are doing good. All right, hopefully you guys are, you know, had an awesome Mother's Day. Again, depending on when you're watching this, it might have been recently, it might have not been recently, but I hope you guys had a good Mother's Day <clears throat> over the weekend here. Uh, from when I'm filming this. Good, hold for a couple more seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so sides. And the other side, reaching down nice and low. Good, good, good. Alrighty, from here, hold up a couple more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, one leg is gonna stay straight. You're gonna bend the over leg, other leg over top. There you are. All right, and spinal twist. Otherwise known as the pretzel stretch. All right, answer side, other side. There we go. And try and look as far back behind you as you can. All right, and from there, lay down your back. Pull one knee in your chest for five or six seconds. Good, and as you do this, again, kind of like if you guys can see how I'm doing it. Again, my head isn't all the way on the ground. All right, so I'm not fully uh, flat. Again, I'm a little bit up here. All right, that way I can get a little bit more of a stretch, helping to pull my knee into my chest, into my shoulder. Our right, other leg is off the ground. It's just hanging out, it's floating. 
toes pulled back. All right, and then go and sit up. Legs out wide in the V, as wide as you can get them. All right, we're gonna get 10 side to side stretches. Go for it. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, 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 seven, six, eight, six, nine, six, ten, six. Awesome, legs out a little bit wider if you can get them there. Are right, reaching towards the middle as far as you can get there. All right, don't forget to go side to side. That'll help you kind of pull you down just a little bit lower. Good. And again, this is a great stretch. If you guys just have some free time, uh, just, again, sit like this. All right. Again, some of you guys might feel it just by being here. Okay, so if you're just like watching TV or something, just kind of sit, just like this. All right, you can also stretch while you do it too. All right, good. Now you get to slowly over time, get those muscles to open up. And then eventually you'll be able to be a pancake like Mr. Crosley. Awesome, and bring your feet together for the butterfly stretch. Whew. Awesome, and then from there, you're gonna pop up. Wah. All right, shake your legs out. All right, and then from there, we will get rolling. So for our first uh, couple of drills, all we're gonna need is you're gonna, that, you're gonna, I cannot talk. All right, you're going to need all right, some space, again, to kind of go from one side of the room to the other side of the room. All right, so if you need to move some things around, go ahead and do so. But uh, I'm gonna be over here. This is gonna be my side. All right, I'm gonna go over to that side. So I'm gonna lift up one leg. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on one foot all the way to that side, switch legs, then the other leg picks up. All right, and then coming back, okay? Hands up as I do this. Get ready and go. So I'm just hopping. Good. And I'm going to switch feet. I'm going to come back to view. I promise. Here I am. Alrighty. And booyah. Okay. That's level one. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Okay. Level two. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lift up like a round kick. So I'm here. I'm going to use this to help me set up. And I can talk at the same time. So, bringing my knee up, I want to point my knee where I'm going, my foot is back behind me, okay? Again, sometimes uh, when I have uh, people do this drill, they tend to like pick up this leg and then they're hopping like this, all right? That's not what we want to do. Or they're like going backwards, which technically you could do if you want to challenge yourself, but I'm not going to make you guys do that. All right, we're going forward, okay? So I'm here, picking up. All right, with me, again, we're just hopping, keeping that leg as high as our belts. And then we go back the other side. Here I am. All right, with the other leg, all right? And go for it, guys. Let me hop back here. Literally hop back here. What? Puns. All right. Good. All right, make sure you go one side, make sure you go the other side. Awesome. Okay. Now for level three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the kick, okay? So this one's the hardest one. Making sure as you do this, uh, again, just like before, your kicks be above your belt or at least at your belt, okay? If you guys feel your leg dropping, all right, depending on how much space you have um, to go side to side, again, just set your foot down, okay? Pick it back up, keep going. All right, and don't you know, try to keep your leg up in the air the whole time if or halfway through, it's just gonna end up being sloppy and it's not gonna help you anyway, okay? So, from here, round kicks going this way, round kicks coming back to the other leg. Get ready, get set, go. Awesome. Then other side here. And good. Perfect. Virtual high fives, everybody. Boom. You have made it through 
the first part of our round kick gauntlet. <laughs> Alrighty. So, next up, you're gonna need a bag. Um, well, you don't need a bag, but if you have a bag or something to hit, you're gonna need that. Uh, or you can do this in the air. This will be harder in the air, uh, just because again, we're working on balance again. So, if you're doing it in the air, again, I suggest kind of having a wall nearby to kind of help uh, with your balance as we go. So, on my bag, let me pull it out a little bit more so you guys can see. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna do a total of 30 round kicks, okay? As I do this, all right, I wanna try and keep my balance for all 30. So, I pick up here. I can go as slow as I need to, guys. All right, I'm going one, two, three, all the way up to 30, okay? Once you do it on one side, all right, you're gonna set it down, and then you're done. We're only gonna use our favorite side. So, I gotta switch so I can use my favorite side. All right, get ready, 30 kicks, and go. And if you're doing this in the air, you just make sure you have something to help your balance. close to the bag there for my leg. It's too long. Alrighty. Now that we've completed that level, alright, we're still completing that level. Keep going, guys. Level two is we are going to do what's called burst kicks, okay? So, right, her, her previous level, I was going one, two, three, again, going at a kind of even pace, counting up. Now what we're going to do is we're, instead of going one, two, three, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So I'm doing bursts of two, all right? So what that looks like is I'm here, hands are up, leg comes up, maybe. So I'm here, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? And again, I can pause in between or I can just go right through them. So still going up to 30, all right? But now doing bursts. All right, so get your favorite leg ready. All right, and get your target ready or get, you know, whatever you're holding on to ready. All right, and go. There you go, come on leg. All right, don't be afraid to set that foot down, guys. All right, and I set my foot down. Two more. There we are. Woo. And time. All right, if you're still going, keep going. All right, just letting you know where I'm at. All right. Once you're done with that, again, you can kind of put away. If you brought something out to hit, you can put that away. All right. Or if you are using a wall, don't put your wall away. Keep that wall there. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, actually, I stand corrected, we're actually gonna need our uh, bag. If you have something to hit, go ahead and keep that out. But we're gonna be working on some sparring skills now, all right? Some sparring, uh, not necessarily the sparring skill skills, but some drills focusing mainly on our hands, our hand techniques, okay? So if you have a bag, target, something to utilize, go ahead and do that. If you have sparring gear and you have somebody at your house uh, that you can spar with, uh, we're not sparring right now, but go ahead and get your gear on, all right? And then we're gonna use our partner um, to help us aim our moves, okay? So, as we do this, okay, obviously our hands are up in our fighting stance, okay? And again, just working double punch, nice and simple starting off. So I'm here, one, two. As I do this though, especially if you're using, um, if you're sparring and doing this drill with a partner, and you're aiming for their forehead, you wanna aim for that triangle right here. Obviously in self-defense, I'd be aiming for the face, the nose, stuff like that. But for sparring uh, our partner, not an enemy, I'm aiming for the forehead. I can also go to the body with my punches, okay? So go ahead, you're just gonna alternate, okay? How you feel like at your own pace, just a double punch, 
You can do both up high. You can do both to the body. You can do one high, one to the body. Uh, you can go reverse. All right, just doing a double punch, kind of playing with that angle there, okay? And go for it. Again, not going too fast, not going really uh, hard or anything, especially with the partner. Uh, all we're doing is we're just working, making sure our punches are nice and strong. Get a couple more seconds on this, guys. Hey! Did three punches on that one. Good. And time. So now we're going to add some moves. Okay, so that was to the forehead, but now we have the sides of the head. Okay, so for the sides of the head, there are a lot of different moves I can use. All right, so I have our chops. I have my normal chops here. I have back fists, so it has that same motion, but my hand is closed. I have hook punches. So again, with the hook punch, again, if I'm throwing the hook punch, all right, we should know that again, I'm not doing a big wild swing. I'm nice and controlled here. All right, let me get closer to the camera so you guys can see. So I'm here making a circle with my arm. Again, keeping my elbow bent, making this straight line uh, between my elbow, my forearm, and my wrist. Again, coming around. All right, like I'm hooking on. All right, I'm about to kind of swing dance with somebody. All right, that's the kind of motion I want to do, if that makes sense to you. All right, but otherwise, again, just keeping my elbow in nice and close, not straightening my arm. Because this is more, again, I'm doing a slap, or if I were to go to punch, and I'm doing weird things with my wrist, um, and again, it's just easier to see coming. So, adding that, uh, you also have ridge hands. So again, instead of hitting with my pinky side for a chop, I'm aiming for my thumb side. Thumb tucks in, boom, just like that. And I'm swinging it round. Okay, so I'm coming around, making sure if you're hitting something, don't uh, fully extend your elbow, give a little bit of bend, uh, that way you don't hurt anything there. Let's see, um, back fist, chops, hook punches, bridge hands, yeah, again, stuff you're not allowed to do in sparring, elbow strikes not allowed, palm strikes not allowed, uh, top of the head is not a target for sparring, so hammer fists aren't allowed, uh, stuff like that. So. Now we're just gonna add those moves, okay? We're gonna play with our targets, okay? So, I can go punch high, punch low, hook punch, bring that same hand over, back fist, then bring this hand, around for a ridge hand. Again, just playing with some hand techniques, because again, uh, again, in classes, a lot of the times I see people use a lot of kicks, because that's what we focus on the most. All right, we don't really focus on our hands too much, so we wanna make sure that we do you know, are, we are comfortable using our hands in sparring. Because again, sometimes if somebody just kind of gets in real close, all right, and all I can do is freak out and scream and go, ah! All right, that's not helpful for me. So I gotta be, if someone gets really close, all right, if I'm backed against the wall or whatever the situation might be, all right, I should be comfortable attacking with my hands when I'm not really in a position to use my kicks. Okay, so go ahead and go for it. So I'm here, boom. Again, just kind of playing with it. Boom. And again, you guys can just kind of go in a continuous motion here. All right, you don't have to pause or anything. Like I, like I am, just kind of keep flowing from one move to the next. Boom. Again, nice and easy, especially if you're aiming at your partner. seconds of this guys all right if you're using a partner again make sure you're taking turns forgot to mention that and time awesome all right so that was our kind of quick sparring element all right, that we're gonna do today. Next, okay, working a little bit on our form, okay? So, we're gonna work just, all right, the first section, um, section one. Uh, we're gonna focus a little bit on some details, 
Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to face you guys. All right, and you guys, um, again, just kind of doing the moves with me. I'll tell you which arm I'm using, um, but I want you guys to kind of be seeing what I'm doing, which you can't quite see as easily if I'm facing this way. Okay, so starting off, we're chumbi here, stepping back. Oh, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit more <laughs> so you guys can see my feet a little bit. So I'm here, stepping back, low X block. Again, making sure as I'm doing this, I'm in a strong front stance. So right knee is bent. All right, my left leg is straight, all the way back behind me here. Back up nice and straight, and I'm doing my low X block. Now my right hand is gonna go up for my high block. As I do my high block, all right, I want to make sure that my arm is all the way above my head, okay? Because sometimes what I see is the arm is here that's on the head, uh, or maybe it's on the forehead, maybe it's just out here floating in front of my face. Uh, I want to make sure it's all the way above, because if it's not here, or uh, if it's connected to my head in any way, if it hits my arm, it's still going to hit me in the head, all right? It's still going to kind of um, you give me a little bit of a whiplash there. Okay, so that's not gonna help me. Uh, I want it here, so if something hits me, it kind of brings my arm down. So yeah, still might hit me, but there's this kind of space. Okay, so I can kind of hold my arm there and resist it. All right, obviously if it's in front of my face, well this doesn't help me, I can go right over top and still you know, get you in the head. So, we're here, high block. Switch arms, punch. Now when we're doing punches in our forms for the most part, uh, except for a few couple areas, uh, I want to make sure I'm aiming towards the face. All right, so again, if you have a mirror, um, or if you're here where I have a mirror, again, just aiming for my nose, or aiming at head level. Then I'm gonna turn, again, my left arm is punching, I'm gonna turn towards my left, punch, same thing, aiming at the head. All right, arm swing back, and left arm palm strike. Again, still aiming at the, at, aiming at the head. Now for our front kicks, there are two ways you can do this for your form. You can do it board breaking style. So I'm aiming more for my uh, belly, chest area. I'm kicking in, okay? Or I could do it the fancy way, which is the way that you shouldn't do it for anything else other than forms, are, is where I kick up, okay? So from here, all right, I'm kicking straight up and then I land, okay? So either one of those ways works. All right, obviously the fancier way is a little bit fancier. All right, it makes your kick look a little bit higher, but we don't want to do that for any other thing other than forms because not good for board breaking, not good uh, unless you're doing a specifically high front kick. Uh, but again, that's more for like demonstrations and stuff like that. Um, and not good for sparring because you don't want to um, use that for sparring, self-defense, all that, all that stuff. Okay, so we're here, we're at this palm strike, we're going to do that front kick, however you want to do so. So left leg kicks, left leg lands in front, left hand open, right arm behind us, bring them together, elbow strike. Okay, so then from here, we're going to do the same thing, other side. So then high block, punch, turn punch, again I'm turning, right arm punching, turning towards my right, left arm punch, arm swing, right arm palm strike, right leg front kick, land, right arm open, left arm elbow, put them together, ah yeah. Good, and that was section one, okay? So, again, we're just going over section one today. I just wanted to go through again a couple of those details to help make sure when you're going through your form, uh, if you're not already doing that, all right, you can uh, sharpen those up to make your form look even better. So, last quick thing we're gonna do, all right, as we're gonna work on our self-defense, okay? So from here, my hands are up. All right, again, if you have a partner, use a partner, all right? But again, grabbing on your shoulder, arm comes up and over, down, back arm, palm strike, back leg, front kick. Again, you're pushing for this one. All right, you're not kicking them in the face. All right, so here, again, doing this with me, doing this with a partner, on your own, or with a partner. Go. Up here, palm. Front kick, ah, yeah. Good. I'm gonna use the other side again. You want to try and get comfortable with both sides. You never know 
what side someone's going to grab. And time. Alrighty guys, so real quick before I let you guys go, this week we're talking about goals, okay? And why it's so important to make goals, okay? So when you make a goal, okay, it shouldn't just be, I want to do this, and that be it, all right? Every goal should, if it's a good goal, all right, should be, uh, should have a plan attached with it, okay? Because if I'm trying to drive somewhere, I've never been to before, like let's say I'm trying to drive to Florida, all right, I've never been to Florida, I've never driven out of state, like just for an example, all right, you're driving, okay, you don't have GPS, you don't have a map, no one's told you any directions, you're just like, I'll figure it out, all right, and you're just driving. Sure, you may get there, I don't know, maybe, okay, but it's gonna be a lot more inefficient because you might take a wrong turn and then have to circle back and then go around and stuff like that. Or you may never get there in the first place. You might just start driving in circles. So, a goal without a plan is like that. Okay, it's like me driving around somewhere I've never been without a map or a GPS. All right, so you wanna make sure that you always have that plan. That way, again, you're able to get to that goal a lot easier, uh, more effectively, but also so you can see that progress. So you can see, you know, a year from now, or if you're working on your flexibility, a year from now you're able to say like, man, I've really improved. All right, or if you're working on sparring, man, I've really improved. And I can kind of see where I'm at, rather than just kind of guessing and like, I think I've gotten better. All right, that's not gonna help you out. All right, you guys, face me, Kenny Bell. Awesome to have you guys here today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.